Hello and welcome to 9design 3D. Today we will make our altar scenes tutorial together. First thing first, we will add a circle to our scene for the base part of our altar. And after that we will scale it. You can choose your vertices, E to extrude in Z axis. After that E to extrude, right click and S to scale. We will continue with making like that. We will again E to extrude in Z axis, E to extrude, right click and S to scale for this. Make same thing again. We make some uh, basement look for this. And after all of that, as you see, you can check the K cast from the left bottom. After that, right click Shade Smooth and Normals Auto Smooth. If you want, you can scale a bit. For the bottom part of it, you can choose your faces and Alt S to scale. Choose some edges from here, Ctrl B to bevel and E to extrude down. You can give some damage or the realistic look for your model. I will choosing some edges, Ctrl B to bevel and E to Z axis. Or if you want, you can scale it for making untidy look for this. I will make same thing for the front and top part of it. If you want, you can give some different shapes to this. With the one to vertex mode, you can move your vertices for the damaged look because we will add some bevel modifier to this. It will look nice. You can choose some of random vertices and move in the Z axis. Add a bevel modifier to this and Ctrl A to apply. After adding bevel modifier, it will look nice and H to hide it. Let's make some pillars. First, we will add again a circle and E to extrude in Z axis. E to extrude, right click and S to scale. E to extrude again in Z axis and E to extrude, right click and S to scale. We will continue with making it like that. After all of that, E to extrude your body part of the pillar. Make same thing. E to extrude, S to scale. As you see, our pillar's body is ready now. Add two loop cuts middle of it with the Ctrl R and S in Z axis. Shade smooth and give some auto smooth for this. In tab to edit mode, choose your middle faces and after that select, check or deselect. From the left button menu, you can see the selected, you can set it to. And again, same method, E to extrude, right click and this time Alt S to scale. We will give a pillar shape for this and add some bevel modifier. It looks really nice. You can increase your segments and that's it. Shift it to duplicate it and after that in the wireframe mode, when in the tab to edit mode, you can delete top part of it or you can add some extra loop cuts for this because we will uh, make it a bit uh, cup shape for uh, adding fire in it. And now you can choose your all vertices with Alt and F to fill. Add some extra loop cut for giving damage it or untie the look. With the same method we will make something. You can give some bevel for the vertices, Ctrl B and press V after that. You can give a bevel for the vertices like this method. And we make same thing as the moving different and random parts for our vertices. With O to proportional edit you can activate it and with the middle mouse button you can choose your selector size. Move your vertices and edge lines with the opposite axis. As you see, it will look good. And you don't have to give extra extra damages for this because we will add a good texture for them. It will really look nice. I make same thing for my taller pillar. And now select your inner face and press I to inset and E to extrude down. And as to scale, we will add some fire in it. Now we will add the bottom part of the altar base part. Add the circle again and E to extrude to the Z axis. 
Don't forget to close your proportional edit as to scale again. With the same method, we make our base bottom part of the altar and Alt H for unhight. Make same thing for this, give some shade smooth and auto smooth. And place it. With the bottom part, you can add some bevel modifier it too. And as the same method, move your some vertices. Add a loop cut in the middle of it. We will make a bit of slot type, a look like a channel. You can choose your edge loop with Alt and Ctrl B and E to extrude down in Z axis. It will be look like that. Now we will shift it to duplicate our pillars and place it where you want. Which type altar you want, you can make it look a rectangular type. And after that, for the big stone block, I'm adding a cube and scale. With adding loop cuts. And after that, Ctrl B to bevel for giving smoothness. You can add a different stone, old stone type it and adding some bevel modifier as the same method. Now we will damage it. I showed before how to damage your walls or buildings. You can go from the top right card. I explain it all detail with the adding new texture with the displace modifier. And it's really easy. We will use a boolean modifier and choose an object this type of different shape. And after that, as you see, it looks real damaged. If you want, you can change your size of the weird shaped cube. And after that, make same thing with the boolean modifier. You can give some damage for your stone blocks. Shift it to duplicate little pillars. We will add some fire in it, as I said before. If you want, you can give some a rectangular or square shape for this too. I'm setting my camera angle for how it will look. Let's add some walkway stones for the old type. I am adding a cube for this and adding some loop cut with Ctrl R in it. With the same method, we moving our vertices for the different ways and different axes and adding a bevel modifier for giving a smooth look and Ctrl A to apply it. If you want, you can for array uh, stones for your walkway, but I will delete side parts of the stones after all of that. Before this, Ctrl J to join them together and add array modifier. For this, set 0 for your x axis and negative 1 for your y axis and you can Increase your count for giving your walkway shape. As I said, I deleted side part of the stones. Now I will add a rock material from the ambientcg.com as a 2K, as you see, rock 051. I am adding a material for my pillar and go to shading tab, choose your material at view and object, press Ctrl Shift T and choose your all rocks map. It looks weird in top to edit mode you and smart UV project. If it's not look good for you, well, I will make a night nice scene. If you want good scene or if you use it in a game scene, you have to check it and the bake. But before all of this, I'm making a little scene like that. And in the UV editing tab, I'm choosing my faces and changing my directions of the textures map. As you see, it looks in the cycle very good. I'm adding same material for all my altars part. And you to smart UV project for this. And the bottom part of the altar, I make same thing. In tab to edit mode, select all with A and U to unwrap. In the middle part of it, if you want, you can rotate this middle part of the in the UV edit tab, as you see. And the bottom base part, I will make same thing. For the arrays walkway stone parts, I'm adding same material, but it looks a bit repeated. If you want, you can separately uh, change your looks 
within the UV edit tab with rotating your UV maps. I'm making separately looks for the walkway stones and it looks in cycles view. I really liked it. Let's add a plane for the ground material because we will add some grasses on it. I am adding plane and after that with the same method press Ctrl Shift T and choose your ground maps. I downloaded these ground maps from the mmcg.com as you see ground 68 as a 2k and now if you want you can change your size in the UV edit tab in the cycles it looks a bit like for me because I will add some uh, bright contrast texture you can decrease your brightness and contrast if you want a dark look for this between the base color and principal PSDF. I will scale it and shift it to duplicate. In the Blender kit, I will download some grass objects. I will append as a plane. As you see, it has a particle system. You can change your hair length or segments or number seat for your grasses. It looks different in the viewport, but uh, when you get some render, as you see, it will really high dance. I will shift it to duplicate for my whole scene. As you see, I like this look with the more grasses. You can change it with the rendering. I am covered my whole scene with the grasses as you see I like this look if you want you can add some middle of the stones too and now it's time to add some rocks around it before this go to edit add-on check your extra objects after that is the shift A it will come a rock generator you can use it where you want from the middle left button menu, menu you can change your number of racks or scale and skew in the different axes and you can give some deformation, roughness and detail and display levels for this. But I will use the uh, same texture as my altar so I choose this type of shape for me. Add your same material and you to unwrap for this as a smart UV project. And now, for the background, I want some low-poly forest for this and I downloaded from the Blender kit. From the particle system, you can change your numbers and hair length for the, giving, um, for the cover your scene with the trees. I'm using this method real much and it's really light for your scene. If you want, you can use it. Let's add some fire with the quick way. I showed before how to make it. You can go from the top right card how to add some uh, quick fire for your scene. I will show it before this. Go to edit preferences in the add-ons. Check your image as planes. After that shift A image as planes. From the texture I downloaded this fire texture. I will link in description. You can download it in the same way. Go to Material settings in the blend mode, check for the alpha blend and shadow mode now. As you see, alpha is connected to alpha, but we don't want this. We will connect our color to our alpha. As you see, it will be transparent. And after that, you can change your emission strength for the, your fire. It really look realistic in the scenes. You can give some round shape for your fire look. I am adding some uh, loop cuts and with the proportional edit. And I am adding some subdivision surface modifier to this. If you want, you can give some different shapes, a more taller shapes for your fire. And shift it to duplicate for the inner fire looks for this. It will look like in my scene. 
I downloaded some uh, angel statue from the Sketchfab add-on. I showed before too, top right card, you can go and see how to download Sketchfab add-ons. I will download this angel statue. Thanks for the Jamie for this model. I will use it to my scene. You can import it. Add a new collection, rotate and place it for your middle of the altar. And I will add a really big cup because I will add fire in it too. I am adding some circle and with the same method E to extrude as to scale. As you see, if you want, you can choose some faces and scale it in it. You can give some solidify modifier to this too. And it will look like that. I downloaded this metal texture from the ambientcg.com as a 2K. I am adding my material with the same method in the objects Ctrl Shift T and choose your metal materials tab. You can U and unwrap and it will look like that. For our scene it looks like that. I added extra point lights near of the uh, altar circular. If you want you can add extra extra lights around to your scene. And I downloaded this island tree from the blender kit too. You can find it in here. I added with the same method a fire from middle part of my cup. As I showed before you can go to top right card and see how to make this type of fires. I'm adding extra point lights for giving lights to my scene because that is night scene. We have to make something too. I will add a cube. We will make folk. Scale and cover up your scene. Now it's time to add some material for our scene. Go to shading tab. Delete your principal BSDF. Shift A and add the principal volume. Connect volume to material outputs volume. After that, decrease your density. As you see, it looks good now. Add extra to noise texture and color ramp. Connect color to fact and color ramps color to principal's volume emission strength. Decrease your density with the color ramps black note. You can move it and see your scene like that. I really like this type of mystic altars and ancient scenes because I want to make it. I added extra area lights from the sides. For the output settings or before all of that, we will add some camera shakeify. You can search camera shakeify and this is the futures uh, GitHub page. You can download your zip file for the camera shakeify add-on and edit preferences. Under the add-ons, you can install this zip file and after that it will come. You will check this little box and it will be activate under the camera settings as you see camera properties first we will add a k-frame with the eye location rotation scale go to last k-frame and give a movement for your camera press i and location rotation scale again and our camera will be move like that but it's too smooth we won't like this because we will add a camera shakeify with the plus button. As you see, investigation is too high and you can change your influence and scale from the camera shakeify properties. I like this type of walking type animation. And after that, as you see, I'm making 30 FPS for my frame rate and I'm setting my frame start and end. After all of that, I will choose my output folder and I'll get some PNG file format. After that, in the Blender video editing, I will make some image seconds to convert video. After all of your settings, you can set your render animation. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later in new Mystic tutorials.